Were you not amazed when Brighton came down from a two goals down to win 3 2 against Tottenham Hotspur in game 7? What makes you love the Premier League is the unpredictable nature of the fish. Team. Hey, welcome to the channel for my Premier League predictions, game week 8. Game week 7 came out with a whole lot of shocking results. So, going into game week 8, I'm looking out for so many spot on predictions. But before we get into the game week 8 prediction, my light target for this video is 100 likes. I'm your boy, Andy Fine, and we don't waste too much of your time. Let's get into the game week 8 predictions. Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, Tottenham Hotspur versus West Ham United. This is an early kickoff and it's a London derby. Tottenham Hotspur coming into this game, they've lost 3-2 against Brighton in game with 7. And West Ham United also managed to get a 4-1 victory over Ipswich Town in game with 7. But before this game, in their last 5 games for West Ham United, 2 draws, two loss and one win in their last five games. Tottenham Hotspur are also able to manage two wins and three losses. So going into this game, Tottenham Hotspur versus West Ham United. This is going to be an interesting game and going into this game in game with eight, I'm predicting a hot draw. I'm predicting a 2-2 draw. Tottenham Hotspur to West Ham United too. Yes, moving on to the next game in game with eight is between Fulham versus Aston Villa. Well, in game week 7, Aston Villa got a 0-0 draw against Manchester United and Fulham also got a 3-2 loss against Manchester City in game week 7. Going to this game in game week 8, Fulham versus Aston Villa. This is going to be an interesting game. Well, Fulham in their last 5 games in the Premier League, 2 wins, 2 draws and 1 loss. And Aston Villa too in their last 5 games in the Premier League, they've gotten 3 wins and 2 draws. So Going into this game, Fulham versus Aston Villa. This is going to be a tight game. And going into this game, I'm giving a home advantage for Fulham. Going into this game, I'm predicting Fulham to Aston Villa one. Oh yes, and moving on to the next game is between Ipswich Town versus Everton. 17th on the league table against 16th on the league table. Ipswich Town in the last five Premier League games they managed to get four draws and one loss. Talking about Everton too in the last five Premier League games, one win, two losses and two draws to go into this game it's with town hosting everton in game with eight this is going to be an interesting game going to this game i'm giving a home advantage to it's with town i'm predicting a 2-1 victory for it's with town it's with town to everton one what do you think eric Terhart should continue to be manchester united head coach let me know your minds and your thoughts Oh yes, moving on to the next game in game with 8 is between Manchester United versus Brentford. This is an interesting and a tough game. Coming on in game with 8, Manchester United hosting Brentford. In game with 7, Man United managed to get a 0-0 draw against Aston Villa at the Villa Park. And Brentford too in game with 7 also managed to get a 5-3 victory over Wolves in game. Well, Man United in their last 5 Premier League games, they've got 1 victory, 2 draws and two losses and Brentford too in the last five Premier League games they've managed to get three wins one draw and one loss so going to this game Man United versus Brentford at Old Trafford this is going to be a tough game to go for but going to this game I'm predicting Man United to get victory over Brentford my prediction is Manchester United to Brentford 1. Moving on to the next game in game with 8 is between Newcastle United versus Brighton. Well, in game 7, Newcastle United drew 0 against Everton. Brighton also got a 3-2 victory over Tottenham as well. So far, Newcastle in their last 5 Premier League games, they've gotten 1 loss, 2 draws and 2 wins. Going into this game against Brighton, this is going to be an interesting game. Going into this game, I'm predicting a low scoring game. I'm predicting a 1-1 draw. Newcastle United won. Brighton 1. Yes, moving on to the next game is between Southampton versus Leicester City. This game is coming on in game with 8 at the St. Mary's Stadium. This is going to be an interesting match. Southampton hosting Leicester City in game with 8. And going to this game, 
It's going to be a tough game. Suddenly, in their last five Premier League games, they've managed to get only one draw and they've lost four games in the Premier League. Against the Leicester City team, who also in their last five Premier League games, they've managed to get one win, two draws, and two losses. Going to this game, Southampton versus Leicester City. This is going to be an interesting game, and going to this game, I'm predicting more goals. My prediction is Leicester City 3, Southampton 2. Yes, so moving on to the next game is between 13th on the league table versus 3rd on the league table. AFC Bournemouth versus Arsenal. Going to this game in game week 8 is going to be an exciting game. Well, Arsenal in the last 5 Premier League games, they've managed to get 2 draws and 3 wins. AFC Bournemouth too in the last 5 Premier League games, they've managed to get 2 wins and 3 losses. So going to this game, Bournemouth hosting Arsenal is going to be a tough game. Going to this game, I'm predicting Arsenal to get victory over AFC Bournemouth. I'm predicting Arsenal to AFC Bournemouth 0. Yes, so moving on to the next game in game week 8 is going to be Wolves versus Manchester City. This fixture always reminds me last season. Wolves got victory, 2-1 victory over Manchester City. But going to this fixture in this year is going to be an interesting game in game week 8. Well, is this the point where Manchester City will lose their first game this season? Well, Manchester City is still unbeaten. And so far, going to this game against Wolves, who in their last five Premier League games, they've lost all the five Premier League games. And facing the Manchester City side, who have also in their last five Premier League games managed to get three wins and two draws. Going to this game in game with seven, Manchester City got a 3-2 victory over Fulham. And Wolves also got beaten 5-3 against Brentford. So going to this game in game with 8, Wolves hosting Manchester City, this is going to be an interesting game. Well, is this the match that Ellen Holland will get back his scoring boot? Let me know your mind, what do you think? But going to this game, I'm predicting an interesting scoreline. My prediction is Wolves to Manchester City 2. And so moving on to the game of the week in Premier League game with 8 is between Liverpool versus Chelsea. This match is coming on at Anfield and this is going to be an interesting game. Liverpool so far on top of the Premier League and Chelsea is also fourth on the Premier League. Going to this game at Anfield is going to be a tough and interesting match. Well, Liverpool in their last five Premier League games, they've managed to get four wins and one loss. Chelsea in their last five Premier League games have also managed to get three wins and two draws. So going to this game is a tough and interesting. Going to this game at Anfield, I'm predicting Liverpool to drop points against Chelsea. So going to this game, my prediction is Liverpool 1, Chelsea 2. Yes, moving on to the last game in game week 8 is between Nottingham Forest versus Crystal Palace. Nottingham Forest in game week 7 got a 1-1 draw against Chelsea and Crystal Palace in game week 7 also lost 1-0 against Liverpool. Going to this game in game week 8, Nottingham Forest hosting Crystal Palace. Well, this is in 10th on the league table against 18th on the league table. Nottingham Forest are on good form and going to this game against Crystal Palace side who is still struggling to get their first win this season. This is a must win for Nottingham Forest. Going to this game, I'm predicting Nottingham Forest to get a 2-0 victory over Crystal Palace. Nottingham Forest to Crystal Palace 0. Yes, so these are my predictions for Premier League Game Week 8. These matches are coming on right after the international breaks. Like and comment your thoughts. I'm still your boy and fire. Until we meet in another video. Bye bye for now.